my head shining, amen. <laughs> amen, God is good. There is a word from the Lord. And we thank him for this word. This is more of a teaching moment to have us look deep within our hearts and understand that we must be mindful as children of God not to adopt the ways of this world. It's so easy to become a part of, of what we're in that we must remember who we are and whose we are. This message comes from Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. And we shall begin in verse 31. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4. We're going to begin in verse 31. Amen. 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 For those of you that didn't get a chance to speak to, good morning. Good to see you. Amen, amen. I know if I don't see you here, I'm going to see you at Kickapoo Corner. I'm going to see you at the Walmart. Amen. <laughs> amen. I told somebody you might want to just have church in the parking lot. I saw some members at Walmart going around the corner. saw some more members. Okay. Ephesians chapter 4, beginning at verse 31. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God in Christ forgave you. That's enough. Like the use of the subject, living God's way. Living God's way. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, brother and sister ushers. Living God's way. It, it's so easy to get caught up in the ways of this world. It's so easy that if somebody treats you harshly, you might not treat them back, but you're going to treat somebody else just as harshly as they treated you. It's so easy to get angry at work and come home and take it out on the family. Y'all quiet on me. It's so easy to get frustrated because someone has taken your parking spot or, 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 or someone has scratched your car. It, it, it's easy to get upset in this world. Matter of fact, it's just, just sitting in traffic. And if you have one of those cars that air condition does not blow cool when you sit idle, heat begins to flare up, your anger begins to rise, and you're wondering what's taking so long. All it takes is somebody cutting you off. Then we take it out on the family, and then the residue of the world we bring inside of God's house. Most of you who, who, who live in the country and have cattle or, or whatnot, you have two, two sets of shoes. You have a pair of boots that you walk around outside with when you go take care of your cows. And then when you come back from taking care of your cows, you will switch shoes and go into the house because you don't want the outside to affect what's going on inside. And that's the same way we have to be about God's business. We have to know who we are. Do not let the world come inside of God's house, nor live inside of us. We have to be who God has called us to be. The only way we can live, I know how you feel, it's been happening before, before COVID, but COVID just made it worse. When we were when folks were hogging toilet paper and, and, and paper towel and, and, and doing all types of things. 
things uh, to make sure they were all right, but they weren't worried about nobody else. Which causes us today to do the same thing. We're not worried about nobody else, but God calls us to love one another. So if you're going to live and want to make heaven your home, anybody want to make heaven their home? Then we ought to make up in our mind that we can't live like the world lives. We can't do like the world does. We have to live God's way. For a brief time at the end of his second missionary journey and then for more than two years on his third missionary journey, Paul ministered to the church during his time in this city that housed the famous temple of the Greek god Artemis. Paul saw many converted to faith in Jesus Christ and many others who opposed his preaching in the synagogue at homes. One prominent silversmith, Demetrius, who made implements for the worship of Artemis, found his business suffering greatly because people were converting to Christianity. The ensuing Neo riot led Paul to leave the city, but only after the apostle had done much to, step to, to stabilize and grow the Christian community there. Simply put, wherever you go, you want to establish or stabilize the Christian community. On your job, you need to be the one to keep everybody in check. And in, on your, in your house, you ought to remind people who we are. Nine times out of ten, we jump in there with them. Amen by myself. Yeah, nine times. And, and, and in some cases, we start stuff. Y'all don't want to be real with me this morning. Because all it takes is a few people to start a fire. And it gets out of control. Now, 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 the first part of this chapter describes the believer's relationship to the church. Now, Paul deal, deals with the believer's relationship to the world. What does the world say about you and me? Have y'all thought about that? What does the world really have to say about us? And I, and I know, I know, I don't care what they say. Well, baby, you got to understand who you represent. I could not care what they say. But you let me go down to the casino and let somebody from another church see me now. I'm going to let that sink in. Somebody going to run back and say, oh, child, not the right pastor with that man at casino. And he was probably using the church in money. I've been black 54 years. If we don't know the truth, we will make something up. Come on, talk to me here. They, if they see us at the store, notice the next time somebody sees you at the store, how they look you in the face and then look at your basket to see what you got. <laughs> Fool around have a 12 pack up in there. <laughs> Fool around and have some gallo up in there. Stella Rose, what? <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> because some people don't understand true Christianity. They go on what other folks have told them and don't know the truth. That there's nothing wrong with drinking. It's not what goes into the man that defiles him, but it what come out. Oh, it's going to be the truth today, y'all. It's going to be the truth. Matter of fact, if they see me at the casino, my question is, what you doing there? <laughs> they ain't going to see me with no chips. You're going to see me with a plate. <laughs> but look at what the scripture says in verse 31. Look 